cult movie fans, beware. A very special auction is being held in London. The treasure trove of film memorabilia expected to reach in excess of over $7 million. One of the key pieces is a Stormtrooper helmet from the original Star Wars film A New Hope, expected to go for over $200,000. Actor Sid Ragg looked delighted to be reunited with it for the first time since he wore it on set. The Stormtrooper helmets themselves are actually quite crudely built. You might be able to see that there's a number of paint runs on this and the way that it's sort of chipped and dinked. And if you look inside, it's just a very, very basic padding uh, and then just a, a very simplistic lens on the inside as well. And this actually has written on the inside of here, carved on the inside of here, the name of the actor who wore this. So it says Sid on the inside of here as well. Prop Store, the company that assembled the collection, put around 250 of their 900 lots on display. Sellers are also exploding in interest over the holy hand grenade of Antioch from the famed Monty Python's Holy Grail, as the British comedy celebrates its 50th anniversary this year. What's really special about this particular piece is the fact that in true Monty Python style, this is actually built from a ballcock from a toilet system. So low budget, very sort of insightful and clever way for the prop guys to build something with very little money to work with, and that becomes the sacred relic. Fans of Kubrick and Jack Nicholson will also be in for a treat with the famous axe from The Shining that Stephen Lane purchased himself from plasters working on the set. Well, one of the artifacts that we've got in the sale is Jack Nicholson's axe from The Shining, and that's actually a, a personal item of mine. This is something that I bought myself a number of years ago, and this came to me from one of the plasterers who worked on The Shining back in the day. And when the film wrapped up, they actually have prop and costume sales. That's just that was standard practice um, back in the filmmaking period of that time. The two-day live auction is set for September 30th to October 1st, with the public free to view the lots until then.